the celebrity theater in the heart of Hollywood, it's the Merv Griffin Show. Today, Merv's guests include the newest information on dental care from Dr. James Roto, Mort Lindsay and his orchestra, and now, here's Merv! Modern dentistry, like all forms of medicine, has made dramatic improvements in the last few years. We've often heard uh, how certain foods, especially sugar, can be hazardous to your teeth. It can be hazardous to everything, I guess. It's now been determined that stress, overbrushing, drugs, common silver fillings can be uh, injurious to our uh, dental health. With me is a past assistant professor of dentistry from UCLA. He is presently director of the Associates of Cognitive Health. Would you welcome Dr. James Rota? Doctor? Thank you. I don't think there's anything more terrible than having to say, well, I have to go to the dentist today. Why are we all so scared of you guys? I think probably because this is a very sacred place of the body. I think that we've underestimated the importance of our mouth. Uh, we are certainly a society that is orally fixed. Yeah. Many of our habits have to do with the mouth, as right. we see, as we can to look at smoking. But it's those noises your machines make. Yeah, that's Zzz. true. That's true. We've... And, we've... Oh, <laughs> oh. and pain. pain. Pain should really come discomfort. first. Discomfort. But there's been a lot of dramatic improvements. Yes, yeah, especially in the field of technology. But, you know, Merv, I think one of the exciting things that's happened to me in my 25 years of practice is to see the relationship of the mouth to the rest of the body. That's been impressive to me. It's really the barometer of the whole body, isn't it? I think it's a good word. I think it's a mirror. And I think the more we become aware, which is the key word of the new age, is becoming aware and kind of release the responsibilities of thinking that some miraculous filling is going to solve our problems. And the reality is a barometer. And it's an early warning system to disease in the rest of the body. And that's what's been exciting. You can look at a mouth and really tell a disease that's about upon yes in the early stages in particular if we're very much aware and we go beyond the idea that a hole is in the tooth therefore we run to the dentist and have it drilled and filled and get the bill next day uh, today we're more concerned about why it's there and so preventive prevention is related to uh, finding out why it's there and uh, looking at the, some of the ways that we can see the type of disease that's going on in the rest of the body we're connected right show us some common problems sure. of teeth the first is kind of uh, an interesting slide. It's a natural uh, slide in that it shows uh, an Looks interesting... good to me. It's a, it's, a good, it's a good mouth. And I think we, we start out by saying that no other place in the body do we see the history as in the teeth and the tissue. The, the two different tissues. The heart tissue has been there longer than any other part of your body. Uh, seven years, the most cells in the body transform. The teeth are the only thing that's been there longer than seven years, right. as opposed to the other tissue, which has been there for as long as only 48 hours. Uh -huh. It reproduces every 48 hours. It does? Yeah, so it's an interesting it. place to see the dichotomy between what's been going on and what's going on now. Next slide. Oops. Here's a slide that's not so healthy. This is a slide that we see not only is the person diabetic, but you can see this telltale introduction of decay, uh, which is the plaque, that viscous material that, you know, kind of a thick layer when we get up in the morning. But you can brush kind of that fur. away. Yeah. You can brush that away, right? But he, this person doesn't brush. Uh, this person is a little neglectful. Ah. Which ah. we can see what happens with a neglectful patient uh, as we see the next slide. Next one. Oh, my word. Not a pretty picture. This person is married to sugar. I think one of the things that's impressed me when I was in service to see the number of 17-year-old children, uh, children, boys, that had their teeth completely extracted because of the decay was down to the, to the gum line mm. because of the marriage of the sugar, sugar. concept. Next. Mm -hmm. Here's an interesting thing. When we think in terms of brushing, here's an individual that brushed too much the wrong way, so they gouged their teeth. So sometimes the overzealous brusher can push the gums up above the... Can, right. Can rip away, especially if the brush is too hard, if we're using a very abrasive dentifrice, we can see that these are some of the things that occur. Right. Here's a, a, a well-meaning nurse that had uh, uh, smoked a, a lot, and after each cigarette, she would brush and brush and brush, and she literally brushed away all her enamel. And so, again... You can do that. You sure can. It's just like the, 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 your, your top of your, your Should stove. you brush after every meal? Uh, brush is, is not as important as much as doing it one day thoroughly. Right. One good, one good brushing every day. And, and then, a little dental and tape and in then between get all that between junk out of material. It. You bet. Yeah. You bet. Okay. That's the restorations afterwards that we can do the restorative process and cover these teeth with some of the new age processes. Those are all not real teeth? These are all caps up in here. These are her natural teeth down below. So that was kind of the before and after on that case. Uh-huh. Next one. 
Here's an interesting thing that we're seeing a lot of, Merv. We're seeing a lot of people who are decaying, not because they're eating sugar, but because of stress. The stress that causes the muscles of the stomach to become compressed and causing a mild regurgitation of the acids in the mouth. And we see a, an acid erosion on the necks of the teeth. So that individual, their problem wasn't brushing. It was the fact that that tense person that shouldered their responsibility and had this mild acid formation in the mm. mouth. So next, this is the after the well, laminated. The same person, the same person, the and same you laminated. day. By the way, the same person, same day, and we laminated. We use this new material that veneer is right on top of the teeth, and that's one of the new age products that we're quite excited about. Thank you for enlightening us. Very interesting. We'll come back after this word from the legislation. <laughs>